work here at the University of Florida Meat Processing Center. Over here at the University of Florida, we cut meat the old-fashioned way. A lot of people ask, what is dry-aged beef? Well, what we do, we actually get meat like this side of beef right here, and we'll actually hang it in the cooler, let it dry. Meat is basically about 70 to 80 percent water, and when we dry aging, we're actually removing that excess moisture out of it. And what that does, it enhances the flavor, intensifies the flavor, because there's less liquid in it. Then also, we get some good bacteria action going, and what that does is gives it a real unique flavor and helps in tenderness. According to the USDA, anything over seven days hanging in a cooler is considered dry aged. But to get that unique flavor, what restaurants, high end restaurants and grocery stores are looking for, they want beef aged 21, 28 days. What we actually hang is the middle meats your ribeye, your sirloin, and your loin. Those are the most sought after cuts, the, the most. Uh, and they're more expensive cuts. Today, in the industry today, dry aged beef basically doesn't exist for the retail level at the grocery stores. Public, the public says Win Dixie, Walmart, and so on. Those stores, they buy their beef, most of it comes out of Texas, it's shipped to them in boxes. Basically, the cattle are slaughtered, and probably within 36 to 48 hours, they start cutting them up into smaller pieces known as primals and subprimals, and they'll get those pieces and they'll throw them in vacuum bags. When they put it in this vacuum bag, it's known as wet age. What makes meat tender is time, age. And uh, what they do, they put the meat in these bags, vacuum bags, and they seal them and they age in the bag. Does it come out tender? Oh yeah, it does come out tender, but it has a different pro taste profile. It's, it's not as beefy flavor, it's just a little different. It, the meat is not as firm. If you look at this carcass here, this particular carcass here, it has, uh, it has 10 days on it right now of dry age. And you can see through here, it's starting to dry. You got some dry spots in through here. We're losing the excess moisture. And when you dry age your beef, there is a cost for it. And you wonder why. Well, why is dry aged beef so more expensive than traditional wet age beef? Well, as this carcass dries, it shrinks. You're gonna have some cutting loss. Stuff that's non-sellable. So what we're gonna to have to do, that's actually gonna have to be trimmed off, thrown into the in the bone can, or uh, sent out for rendering. So there you go, that, that jumped the cost up. Yeah. Overall, dry aged beef, you know, once you get used to it, you can actually taste the difference between conventional beef.